Hello guys, my name is Martinez and today I'm going to share 6 tips how to use Pixelmator Pro more efficiently. So let's dive in. The first tip would be to customize your workspace layout. It's an underestimated feature that might help you to organize your tools around you in a more comfortable way. You just go to Window, Workspace Layout, Workspace Settings. Here you can choose Default Mode, Photography, Design, Illustration, Painting and create even your own one. So let's say I stick to Photography and I also can customize it. Uh, let's say I want my tools to be on the side and move my settings to the right. I press done and here I have my arrangement that I like. And this is truly an amazing way to customize the interface by the way you like it. My second tip would be to customize a toolbar layout. Let's say you're designing a social media image where you need to put a lot of text. So in this case you don't need a lighten tool uh, probably you don't need a desaturation tool or saturation tool. So all you have to do is just please press those three dots, press customize tools. And from here you can drag and drop uh, any tool you like. So let's go and remove unnecessary tools and let's add uh, all type tools. Moreover, you can add a space between different tools. So it would be easier for you to recognize and to press them intuitively. As you can see, we have uh, our text tools uh, all in one place, so I can choose whichever I like, and they are separated conveniently by the spaces, so I can continue my design more easily. My third tip would be for uh, zooming out to the point where the image fits perfectly the screen. Let's say you zoomed into the image a lot, and you need to fit the image right here in the screen, so instead of going step by step and adjusting the image you just press this little dot two times and it fits the image so once again i zoom out and i want the image to fit the screen so i press uh, that circle two times so it's uh, covering the whole screen here my fourth tip would go for uh, previewing the effect before you apply it so instead of going to format effects and applying effect without seeing it uh, you can just simply press add effect here and skim through a preview window so you could see what effect does before you apply it. So you can clearly see the animation that shows you what it's going to do. My fifth tip would be previewing uh, project information quickly. So all you need to do is to press command plus slash and you can toggle the window where you can see RGB values uh, color space, display channel, uh, document size. So it's very convenient to see where you are and what's what's going on with the project. The sixth tip and the last tip is uh, for those who are working with a lot of projects. As you can see, I have 11 tabs and it's not really convenient to go one by one uh, for looking for a specific one. So all you need to do is to go to window and to show tab overview. So here you can see all your projects in one window and you can choose whichever you need. Alternatively, you can press Command plus Shift plus Backslash. That combination allows you to do the same thing. So here are the six tips I wanted to share with you. It's probably nothing new or groundbreaking, and probably most of you already knew some tips or maybe knew all of them. But it's just simply a reminder for those who are new to Pixelmeter Pro of how to make the best out of this program. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.